Lord bless us today. Um, I like the, man, the verse that is there, and if you don't mind, uh, I would like to grab your attention to that text from the Bible that comes from Mark 10, verse 14. And Jesus invites us to be like the children. Um, and actually, I want to tell you a little story because I have just two minutes. Uh, how important to have the attitude that children have. Yes. You know, when we tell something to, to the little children, they believe us. They really have faith and uh, they don't have doubts that what we tell them is not true. They really believe that it's true. <coughs> so I was in this spring in Israel and I had my little son with me. At, at the moment, we was on, on a beach and he had a little car. He was playing with the car in the sand. I didn't look at him all the time. So at some point, he hid the car, his little car in the sand. And after a while, he came to me crying <coughs> that he can't find his car. And now imagine being on a beach, he hides somewhere his car. <laughs> we try every, to imagine every place where we walk. And with a stick, we go there trying to search for his little car because he was crying. But after like 20 minutes, we just gave up. And we, we left the beach with the group. And when we went with the group, he was saying to me and to like probably 10 people that we were around <laughs> him, Mom, let's pray to Jesus to find my car. <laughs> Amen. I, I was laughing, but in the same time, my heart was really broken because I could see his faith. So, okay, I said, do you want to pray? And he said, oh, yes. <laughs> and he prayed. Jesus, please help me to find my car. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and we turned back. We asked the group not to go too fast. We come back and we go with the stitch. Another two guys come with us. And we literally, in two minutes, we found his car. Amen. He was so happy. All everybody, up till the end of the holiday, when they saw the car, they remember the prayer. So what I invite you is to pray with your children and also to believe in Jesus like they did. First in the morning, I thought I would do a little video for her instead. Um, do we have any sound um, at all? The song is reflective of all the great things that God has done for me and why I'm so grateful to have it in my life. to take your grandchildren to church you should because we live in a world that's full of violence and crime so it's important for them to learn about Jesus when you train up a child in the way he should go he will not depart from it so it's found in Proverbs 22 verse 6 and if they have a leave church they will always come back because we're praying for them we're always constantly praying for our children and one another so um, that's my little speech for Corey and Kate Jordan. I could say lots more, but it could be a long time to take. <laughs> I have to give a testimony on my two children. Um, well, what can I say? Uh, their development, I, I'm very, very, very happy and blessed about. <coughs> when my children were small, um, I'd left church, just to take it back, I'd left church some time ago, and I had my son, and I came back to church. Um, 
about 20, 28, 29, I came back into church and I've grown my children in the church, but I couldn't have done it on my own because my church family helped me raise my children. And I'm very thankful and blessed because of their progression, um, especially with my son. You know, he was very, when he was small, as you, some of you probably know, he always likes to be at the forefront, singing and, you know, doing these little moves and everything, wanting to always sing and everything. And I knew that my son had a talent, but what it was, I didn't know. I thought it was singing, but as time has gone on, he, um, he's learning to play the piano, as you, you've all seen. Um, and he loves God. There's, I don't hear, my son is a different person. He's, he's my son and I'm blessed, I'm thankful to have him. You know, he is. He's a good boy. He doesn't give me any trouble. You know, when he's at, he comes home from college, he comes and he he's on his keyboard. And all he talks about, I hear him. He praises God so much. Um, and as I said, I couldn't do it on my own. And Tiana's the same. She's very, very advanced. You know. Um, she was shy at first as well, never really spoke much. But as uh, times have gone on, she's, she's very, very clever. She is very clever, knows, it, I, I think at her age, she knows a bit too much than I ever did anyway. But it's a good, it's a good, it's good, because you can see children of today need more experience in life, especially how this, the world is today. Um, same way I can talk about, um, Tiana at school, she wasn't really doing well. Um, you know, she's very, um, very back, you know, she's laid back kind of girl. And um, when I went to her parents' evening last, what, well, this month, I was very, very shocked on the way how she's progressed. Her abilities is, is really good. They, all the teachers, they love her. Same way, she's got a good smile, she's very communicating towards. Um, uh, 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 classmates and uh, uh, teachers and um, as well my mom has helped me raise my children as well even the mom she hasn't been well herself but she's always supported me my children Amen. and I just thank God for her because she's not been well herself but she's always helped me <coughs> even when I've been going to school work my mom's always had them she's ra raised them with me and they're in the church now and there's nothing more I want just to see them stay in church because there's nothing out there for you God see, brought us here for a reason brought my children here and you all are my church family and I love you all and you're a blessing in my life so I just want to thank my children please continue to walk with God because he's promised us better and he's promised you better and I just want to thank him, thank him for everything. Because I can smile, because my children are growing up with me. As you can see, they're taller than me. And I feel like, you know, my daughter, people say, oh, your daughter sprung up so quickly. But I'm glad I can look at them and be proud of them. They're my best friends, they're my children, and I love them so much. I love you both. And just thank you all, church, for supporting me with my children. What can I say? Mm -hmm. I am a father of many children. <laughs> That's what I think to start. Okay. Um, Omika's here and the others aren't. So let me say a few words about Mika. Um, Mika, um, we attended a, an awards evening at school. It's her last year of um, primary school. So she's going up to secondary school in September. And one of the awards that she received um, shocked and surprised me. And the award she received was the Head Teacher's Award um, for her year, for the whole of <coughs> that year. Um, so the Head Teacher said some really good things about her, uh, how she has a great smile, she has a positive um, outlook, and she tries to be helpful. So what I'm trying to say with that is, yes, you know, we, we are proud of Mika and her achievement, but 
um, church has a lot to do with our children's upbringing. Amen. And we can only thank God that um, the gifts that he has placed within our lives to shepherd and to nurture, when they, you know, when you see the progress of them, um, we can only say thanks be to God. As parents, we try our best. And even though they're at school, they have many distractions. We are here to try and keep them on the straight and narrow, to correct some of the things that they are hearing and learning at school. Uh, and church is uh, an ideal situation, especially as you know, as Adventists, we practice the Sabbath school uh, lessons. So we teach the children um, lessons from the Bible that they can then take forth into daily life and into school life and so forth, uh, help to enable them on their Christian journey uh, and their Christian walk with the Lord. So I'd like to say to all the parents, uh, continue the good work. At times it, um, it seems hard, at times it may feel that we're the only one facing a certain situation, but I know I'm not the only one that's been through some of the struggles that I've been through. <laughs> Uh, but we just need to keep praying for our young people and keep praying for our families within the church. And well done, Mika, and keep up the good work. Thank you. Amen. Amen.